zdravím všechny příznivce hry Kingdom Come Deliverance. Jsem tady v klášteře, je po soudu s Johankou a já se jdu podívat, jak to vypadá v lazaretu. Vidím, ten můj kůň má taky pěkně potrhaný ten, ten přehoz, prostě tu čabraku, no. Špejná bohu, fuj. Tak je tady ta Adéla, která tady ušetřuje. Henry, I want to thank you for that generous donation to the infirmary. I'm glad you and Pavel didn't forget us. What do you need? So, your hunker is gone. Yes, sadly. I'll miss her. But on the other hand, I don't think what awaits her is anything bad. The contemplative life is free of many everyday hardships and woes, and her healing skills will find application elsewhere. You advised her well, Henry. The fact that it all ended well is largely to your credit. It could easily have taken a very ugly Boy, turn, considering the gravity of the charges against her. Do you still think the Virgin Mary's visitations were real? Who can say? Was she really deceived by Lucifer, as the Inquisitor said? I don't think so. I think her visions came from Our Lady, but I suppose we'll never know for sure, and your hanker will have plenty of time in the convent to reflect on her visions. Takže jsme se dozvěděli, co je s Jahonkou, že v klášteře a že je to v pořádku. No a já mám za úkol teďko zjistit, jak je to s těma penězma kradenýma. Teďko mám quest. Pár trání po dvěrbířích. A oni se scházejí v noci v městečku v kostele a tam se za něma půjdu podívat. Když se tam bude v tom kostele svítit, tak tam jsou a já je tam najdu. Co je tady za lidi? Kdo tady sedí? God's blessings. What can I do for you? Well, master painter, are you still short of coin? Yes, unfortunately, and my offer still stands. Don't you want to buy something or throw a few dice? Why not? Show me what you have to offer. Takže tady si můžete koupit různé věci u něj, třeba mapu pokladu. Chlast a tak, život v hospodě, to už jsem četla. Můžete mu dokonce něco prodat. Má moc peníze, takže si budeme jenom kupovat. Můžu se najíst. Tenhle ten pro mě. God be with you. I'm looking for some people you might know something about. If they come here to drink, maybe. 
but I won't aid you in any mischief. I've heard some rough men come here looking to recruit. Have they ever stopped in to eat or drink, or to arrange something? There were some brawlers that used to fight behind the tavern, but they raised such a commotion. I went and complained, and the town watch drove them off somewhere. I wasn't thinking about that lot. I'm looking for recruiters that hire mercenaries and other cutthroats. I don't know about that. Every once in a while, a merchant will hire some help or an escort, but nothing more. Nobody comes here regular. I'd notice if they did. Do you happen to know where the brawlers you complained about moved on to? Um, I, I've not got the slightest inkling. Oh, I'm just glad all the shouting stopped. It scared the horses in the stables. You haven't heard talk of uh, any scoundrels in town? Well, I have heard some things, but I can't say if they're true or not. <laughs> There's some that talk just to hear the sound of their own voices. And who's the most frequent topic of that kind of gossip? Miller Simon. They say he's rich with coin, and it's not from the mill. But that's nonsense. Folk just don't know how much a mill can earn. Anyone else? Aye, there's talk of the knacker giving people the evil eye, or then that's not in Bayless good graces. But I don't suppose that's what you want to know. Thank you, innkeeper. Not at all. Would you like something to eat or drink? I've heard it's not quite as lively here as it once was. Well, I wouldn't say that. Guests are always making merry when there's a drink to be had. That's not quite what I meant. I'd heard there were some stable boys staying here for a long while looking for work, but it took too long and they took to causing trouble. True, but that's nothing new. No, the thing is there's not many wagons coming through at all. Folk are afraid to travel far in case they get done in by some cutthroats or, God forbid, have their wagons requisitioned by some army. So there are fewer travellers, and some of them must be a little unsavoury. I take anyone who turns up. They come one day and leave the next, maybe with someone else. Past few weeks I've only had trouble with one who skipped off without paying. He just vanished, without a word. Well, he said he lost all his silver to the miller. And he had to go and see him about something. Only he never came back. Left all his belongings here. Do you still have them? Of course not. I sold them all a few days later when he didn't come back. The buyer's gone now too, before you ask. But there wasn't much there in any case. The seller didn't even cover his bill. Take care. Dr. Wolgospotsky and the Hortsnerzak. Já zkusím ty lázně. be with you. Do you need anything? I'd like to uh, order something here. So what are you interested in? Proper bath. And my clothes need washing. That can be arranged, but you'll pay in advance. Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Take care. Sneaking around in the dark. Light a torch before the catchpoles see you. No, I'll sit up with you up. I get a stimma. Very beerama, oh, beerama. This is so costly cool.
tu ne vypadá, je tam tma. Tady, že tady dneska nikdo není. For us, eh? What is it you want? I hear you're hiring men who don't mind getting their hands dirty. Is that so? Then where did you hear that? Taverns and the like. People talk. Oh, that's a pretty tale. But no one in any tavern told you to come here and wait, did they? So let's have it. Who told you? I don't recall his name, but he was one of your friends. He said that he couldn't take me straight to you, that I had to go through the church. He was right about that, but he still said more than he should have. I know my way around. You won't go wrong with me. Spare me the boasting. I've got a test ready for you. Let's see how you handle it before you tell us how wonderful you are. What test? Nothing complicated. We used to take anyone who looked like they could keep their head on straight, but not now. Now you can only join if you do what we tell you. Which is what? Steal something? No, not theft. If you want to join us, you have to kill Pius. Who's Pius? And why should I kill him? That's none of your business. But I'll tell you anyway, because it's an instructive tale. Pius was one of us, but he fucked up. How? Did he steal something? Yeah, that was part of it. Stole some money, ran away. A few boys died over it. Showed a distinct lack of loyalty. And as soon as he's dead, you can join us. I have to find him first. <laughs> you don't need to find him. We know where he is. Then why haven't you killed him yourselves? It's quite a test. He's hiding in a monastery. With the stable boys? It's not hard to get into the grounds. <laughs> no, not there. Oh, he would have been dead long since. He's in the, uh, cloister, or whatever it is. But only monks can get in there. <laughs> Just monks and pious. He's an educated bastard. Seems he used to be a priest, but it didn't quite work out. And how am I supposed to get into the cloister? You'll think of something. Maybe there's a secret passage. I've heard there's some cave underneath. The cave of St. Procopius. There might be a way into it from outside. And do you have any other ideas besides secret passages? Well, there is this one fellow been hanging around the taverns. Supposed to join the monastery soon. Might be he could help you somehow. I'd try talking to him if I were you. And if he doesn't help... Knock him on his ass, and take anything he's got that you could use to pass yourself off as him. A letter of admittance to the monastery, or whatever. Murder someone in a monastery? Have you gone mad? <laughs> Murder's a sin as it is. Doesn't really matter where you do it. Yes it does. I'd be spilling blood on hallowed ground. <laughs> well then, knock him senseless, drag him outside, and finish him off where it's less sacred. I don't give a damn where you do it, just as long as he ends up dead. And do you have any other test? We're not hiring stable boys. We want men who are prepared to do anything. And this is the toughest task we've got. So how many men have you already sent? Yeah, just a handful. And what happened to them? Did they hang? Ah, just the first one. The others turned tail. 
Guess they didn't have the stomach for it. How will I recognize Pius? He won't have been there long. He should be the only new one there. But what if there are others? What does he look like? Normal. He always went about well dressed and had a fine looking dagger. Yes, except he'll be given a robe and they'll take his knife. Then you'll have to try and figure out which one of the novices it is, and get him to betray himself. Try getting him drunk. Then send him straight to hell. Get him drunk? In a monastery? <laughs> Where better? There's more wine there than in the royal cellars, and I doubt he's suddenly stopped drinking. Fine. So I've got to kill Pius. He's in the cloister, and to get into the cloister, I'll need to enlist the help of some boy who's joining the order, right? More or less. And now the main thing. The main thing is to kill him, isn't it? <laughs> of course. But that's not all. All hell's gonna break loose in the monastery after the murder. So, either make sure nobody finds him, or hightail it out of there quick as soon as the job's done. But better if they don't find him right away. And what else? Should I come back here afterwards? No, no. Before you run for it, take his special dice and bring it as proof that you killed him. And if you can get him to tell you where he hid the coin, bring that as well. Bring his dice and the money if I find it. And where should I bring it? From the monastery, head east across the river. There'll be a swamp where you'll find a fire pit. Go there at night and light a fire. Make it nice and big and we'll show up. Take the dice and the money and then tell you where to report. Got it? Right, I'm to slip into the best guarded place in the entire region and kill someone. Take his dice and money, and then go to the swamp and wait by the fire. Yeah, that's the idea. <sighs> well, you can at least say a few Hail Marys for me. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. <laughs> and remember, we'll be keeping tabs. So don't you try to run off, alright? Good luck then. Takže vstup do kláštera se nechám na jindy. Teď se rozloučím a pojedu ještě do Ratají na ten turnaj, snad ho stihnu. Takže díky všem za sledování a přeji vám krásný večer.